Have some of your beautiful people, my name is Dragon, and welcome back to more Azer Lane. Last time we completed part one of Imperial Touch Comedy, and now I move on to part two. Okay. I'll say, as you can see, Sarah is currently my secretary. It's your sword, Zara. Some things from Akashi and Shiranui, I just don't have the cubes to do it. <laughs> For 20 and 155. Uh, I'll check out the wiki to see if I say anything worth it. Twenty is eh. Ships I already have, and I've had for a very, very long time. And one fifty-five is if Google would load. I mean, it's something that I might as well do a music adventure on. Ciao, Shikika. Uh, Zara. I'm gonna do one more because I'm here. Four hours. <laughs> Sorry, I've had a very long night, so I'm a bit out of it, but shall us go on. And I move on to B1, Taurus Tribulation. One of the fleets is off on a journey to the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, another one is off against certain subject to flee the second time. Why are the fleets start coming? Ah, yes. Sita Eterna. Capital of Sardegna Empire. Um, what's up doing that? I'm sure if you need to spoke out, but I am able to take Vittorio's pacing around the palace in a longer. It's time to make a choice. Indeed. I actually have the Royal Navy has bolstered their strength in the Mediterranean. Which would be more than this. What should be more suitable? Thomas was in school there? Or a bikini? I heard bikinis were all the rage these days. Sorry, <laughs> it's not text. I tell people I'm busy. Wait, what? I know that for me, has been deployed to the Mediterranean. This is an opportunity that we cannot miss. Um, Victoria, I'm being suspected suspect we aren't talking about the same thing. Did you change plan to handle the illustrious craft aircraft carriers on the agenda? I didn't say that, but... Sorry, I don't want to do that. Victoria's been acting strange ever since the Battle of Toronto. Must be some sort of post traumatic stress. Or a video. The truth is, there was a telegram from the Australia some time ago. The true love calibrate that. The most resplendent one. That's the queen. Hope that differences may become as water under the bridge. P.S. I bring them my two little sisters. Um, what's the point of this? Ah, uh ah. -huh. Not just the same. You know, it's the value of this opportunity. You must seize it with both hands. It's a opportunity to lay Lestri's bear and expose her secrets. The anchor carrier can launch planes in the dead of night, and it's not a reasonably thick armor. It sits its feet, we've been grouping in the dark to understand how that fateful night unfolded. We've been groping in the dark to understand how that fateful night unfolded, but now we can make them ours. We shall powder technology with theirs, build good false birth, and usher in a new age of Sardegian glory. When you put it that way, they can see your logic and your thirst. The Senate responsible for keeping abreast of the situation with the Iron Blood Royal Navy remains paralyzed by political infighting. Power struggles continue while the Sardegnian fleet stagnates. At this rate, you're right, the Iron Blood seems to be losing its patience with us since the Battle of Taranto. Not to mention the sirens, which no words in her hate, and seem to grow by the day. No 
last year. Er, uh, no. Sorry, that's a bad idea. There's a reason why the Royal Navy reached out to us. But all that's not past us. Our allies or enemies who we attack is where we're at. Let's conduct a little experiment of our own. That was the play that you wanted, is it not? Yes, my thoughts exactly. Now then, great flagship, my sweet signal. Er, uh, what now? It's time to make a decision on which swimsuit to wear. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, oh why? Uh. This is going to be a bit of a long one, because it says, like, defeat 25 Esper Fleets and then defeat all the enemies, so this is probably going to be a big map to, like, route all the enemies on. I'm sorry, this music is still just absolutely amazing. Also, like on the side, Jane and somebody, uh, there's an image I found of like an absolutely massive Japanese ship that was pro to World War II. It makes the Yamato class look like a freaking bath toy, and we're just talking about like, yeah, that's what just exactly what we have. The off hand, there is some fun in just six seconds, and I think it's because of how Pretty huge dump, right? So they were around level 40 last time, but now they're in their 50s. I mean, we'll probably still be able to take all of their flagships for the final boss, because you know my ships are hovering around the level 90 more. You know, compared to them, my levels are absolutely insane. The shame there's no reward for completing all of these for three stars, because I set a precedent for doing that, and now that it serves no purpose, it's just a little bit different. I also heard, like, I remember for a while ago I heard whispers about Yostar adding another, like, big offense to their war archives, but so far they haven't, and I've been controlling war archives like a hawk. Shame. What a way for nice content. Oh well, what happens happens. Also, Latorio is my prime example of being expertly able to disguise being hella horny. <laughs> Friendly reminder that my family watches these videos. Eh, they're used to my style of humor, they live with me after all. I don't know if I can finish this event before uh, it ends. I believe it ends on like the 3rd of February, which is very soon. Speaking of very soon, actually I do have a funny story to tell from the other day. I was in a call with my, a call with my father for a while and we were talking about well, just a couple of things. He told me once we had to catch up. I don't know why, we kind of do the same things we never did. But anyway, he was saying, I was making a joke of, hey, he should buy me games. He's been talking about it a lot. And he says, well, your birthday's coming up in a month. To be fair, no it's not. My birthday is in the midst of July. It's my older sister's birthday that is in March. I mean, hey, if he bought her the game for her birthday, I wouldn't mind that, because actually, I don't remember if she was good at like... We played her secrets pretty well of the game a lot growing up. Like for context, you know, Civilization. My father raised me on Civilization 4, and I played the hell out of Civilization 5 for many years. I never could get into, like, Civilization 6. I wanna wait until, like... I feel like the thing with most Civilization 6 games is they're, like, exactly great these days until their expansion packs come out. Like, Civ 4, the Civ 4 New Horizons game, which I don't remember name was. Civ 5, and now maybe Civ 6? Oh no, what's his equivalent to, uh, Gaza Kings? 
I would love to, like, just stream myself playing Civ 5 for, like, 8 hours. It's not really a game that's not very interesting to let's play, because a lot of it is just me hitting end turn over and over again as I go. I still love that image of uh, Taiho and all the core over there. I like Taiho and I like all the core, and just seeing them like that is absolutely hilarious to me. I, uh, I unfortunately don't have Taiho because it got referred at some point, reasons I don't remember. Is that because that I just had no use for her? But now I really do need to get her back since so she's become kind of the unofficial mascot of my channel. Also, I do have a bit of a hilarious story to tell. The other day, I actually got an email from, like, one of my fans. It's a bit weird, because I didn't really think too many people watch my videos, much less wanted to send me emails. But I opened it, and it just said... Are you scared to play World of Warships again because you can't pronounce your flagship's name? But first of all... My first email from a fan, and it's an absolute god tier insult, so how dare you? Second of all, no. I just haven't really finished in the game in a while. I mean, I still do play it a lot, a bit casually. Me and uh, Nathan FS just get together and do a couple of operations when we're bored. But, yeah. Keep shooting. I like how it's just sometimes my ship will have that three second window where they don't shoot. It's just like, uh, guys? Guys? Why are you not firing, guys? A lot of people just say like she's super annoying, or other guys just say that she's not useful, or whatever. <laughs> alongside like, alongside like Z23, she's been slept on, everyone really focuses on like Lafty and Ayanami. But to be fair, Ayanami has those big torpedoes, and Lafty is very good all around. But Teflon has like crazy avoid, and C23 actually has some pretty good firepower for a destroyer. Just capable of doing more than looking at enemies funny and then occasionally pooping them with torpedoes. She can exit just out semi with wild damage. Which is always an accomplishment. <laughs> I expect such an extravagant welcome to the Star Trek fleet. Later video, instructed me to show you the latest, show the latest of the Royal Navy, our Mediterranean hospitality. As this jewel of Calgary, yeah, that I managed to smoke. Wait, you're gonna get like new clothes dirty. Please forgive me for my indiscretion. Oh gee, this is meant to be casual hospitality and trying to kill me? Ah god, my strategy is so reckless. Back and forth, it's gonna be a headache. 
Capellini may make use of, make use of her agility to avoid the carriage attacks so those gradually close to the Sina. Hope you're prodding for the older guns. Ha! The very name comes from a centuries old type of Sodecnian like cavalry. Just grab her and confuse our enemies while I wait for my crap to destroy them. That is my fighting style. Formidable, a lumbering carrier like you has no chance to keep me up my speed. I beg your pardon? Formidable will raise an eyebrow, give me off an uncharacteristically vexed aura. You take that back! Did you call lumbering? Okay, I was taken aback by Formidable's patty lips and the tears going up the first track. No, I that's not that. Don't move an inch! Intense pressure began to exude from Formidable as she glared at the Sardidian destroyer, developing her into short aura. What? What is this? Can we use boilers so they get like a pot? One well, fell to destroy was less power for the boilers than slow to crawl. So who's the lumbering one now? Care to say that again? Who's the lumbering one now? Wait, that's not what I meant. That's become a kill marking on my barracuda. Engage! Ah! Huh? Sorry, I just time to see Kirby and Ea get blown away. She broke out in the cold sweats. It's minimal. Don't you think you might have over a bit? Oh well. Um, what a fine day it is, Horse Knights! Formidable ex executed a graceful curtsy in front of Riley. I took the liberty of clearing out so like the vanguard. But don't worry, they should have to any vile areas. Just a sample of hers, as she's instructed. Well done, I suppose. So hurry and search for this jewel of Calabria next. Uh, our dear Carbinier forgot the number one rule. Never talk about a woman's weight to her face. I'm gonna make a cut, like, clear the rest of this out like I usually do, so I'll see you guys back in the finale. And we are back with this, just this battle left to go to finish the first part of all this. Let's dance! Three stars. I still wish we got like a special reward for clearing those with three stars instead of just normal. But that is where I'm going to leave every single one of you today. I have done, we have done well, and soon this event will hopefully be finished. Alright, so let me check on something there. Ah, it's be just B2, not like a BS1 like before. As it does, the Empire of World Navy Classic Swords, but they are fighting for their lives. Rather, it's even more than they are testing each other's metal. And they shall be doing that in the next episode. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Grace of the Dragon, signing off. <laughs>